My name is Gloria Kressler. I'm the president and founder of Elite Professional Networking Group and also an editor of the Black International Magazine. This is a monthly event that we put. We have a yearly event in October, which is a, a very big one, as you know. And then every month we make a smaller one and then we launch new companies. The clothing, the designing, that will be held. Billy, once again, no stranger to thoughts and teams. Just let us friend. have it. Everything that we need to know for a 2012 new production. Well, we're here tonight at Trump Tower in New York City. Beautiful event, isn't it? That's right, Gloria, beautiful event. Gloria always has beautiful events, mm -hmm. gorgeous events. Opera, Christina Fontanelli, the opera singer from Rome, is here tonight. Yes, that's Fabulous. right. She, she, did a, she did a beautiful song for me. Yes. Uh huh. <laughs> yes. And I just finished a uh, film on Sunday, uh -huh. American 79. It's about a, a group of high school students at the height of the disco craze. And I play a, a history teacher obsessed with a young teenage girl. Oh, wow. Billy, really get it <laughs> naughty. <laughs> so we wrapped that on Sunday. Uh -huh. And uh, we were working on that since June. Mm -hmm. So it was a few months filming. And it was a lot of fun. Yeah. You know, there was a lot of dancing, a lot of singing. It's through Radiant Pictures Entertainment out of Los Angeles. And they're going to have a premiere in Hollywood okay. sometime in March. Okay. So we're looking forward to that. Yeah. So you should come. Oh, yes, I will be there. You know, nothing will not stop me. I will be there. I will Control. be there. I wish I must attend so I can see what I'll be wearing. Yeah. Yes, I'm going straight into production of another film called The Sponsor. Mm -hmm. And in between that, I'll be working on some back to back films. Oh. So uh, I don't know when I'm going to have any time to go to sleep, but I'll worry about that later. Well, because you have your talent and you are professional, yeah. everybody will want you to be there. <laughs> first, so thank you. Mm -hmm. We're shooting the first thing January 20th at uh, Elena's fashion show. Okay. And uh, my character, Nicholas Cortez, mm -hmm. in the film, Unfinished Symphony, uh, goes on trial for murder. He's, murder met, uh, he's just murdering his rich, uh, older society girlfriend. Okay. He's placed in the courtroom and is told in flashback. So as each witness comes on the witness stand, they oh. give a little bit more into the character of the suspect. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, it's a classic, Alfred Hitchcock mystery, it goes in another direction, and then you think it's someone else, and then it turns out to be someone else. And the famous Billy Landis will be signing it, and the famous Patricia Trim will be the perfect witness yep. for the perfect crime. Yes, yes, you, you play one of the witnesses, a beautiful, uh, our director is Richard Sutura. Uh -huh. Very talented, up-and-coming writer-director, mm -hmm. and our costume designer you met, she's fabulous. She's yes, she is, she is. Designing a whole collection of clothes just for, for the film. Uh -huh. And we're looking at locations in the courthouse in Brooklyn, Yeah. and uh, there's a mansion in New Jersey. That is the Borough Hall. The Borough, Borough Hall. Hall in New Jersey. Uh -huh. um, and with our friend Marty Moskowitz. Right in Brooklyn. In Brooklyn. Yeah. And um, the fact, as I said, the first scene is being shot on January 20th. And it's exciting, so really. Mm -hmm. because it's, they've been working on the script for a while. Yeah. And it's really very um, like a murder mystery. Okay, but you know, let's talk a little bit about Gloria and her creation here. Because the idea behind this, all the networking, all the elite professionals oh, yeah, meet. Gloria's and this is a very, you know, good way of everybody coming together to know each other and to get something going. Well, what Gloria does is she brings types of people together. Mm -hmm. She has artists, she has musicians, she has models, directors. I mean, at the last event, we had... Um, Nick Gregory from the um, Channel 5 News. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. Wonderful parties. Uh-huh. She always has lovely, lovely parties. Lovely parties. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, and I like it too. And I like, yeah, and I'm glad for the opportunity that I can come uh -huh, and interview absolutely. and be a part of this spectacular. Yes. Here at Trump Tower. At the Trump Tower, at Trump that. Tower, <laughs> it's a gorgeous building. It's a gorgeous building, and you know, to be with so much of gorgeous people who is in such great billionaires, and oh, I'm feeling like a billionaire right now, yeah. being here. <laughs> Wonderful evening. Yes, wonderful evening. Yes. Uh, wonderful evening. So it was so nice having this talk Thank with you, you Billy. So having nice you. having this chit chat and knowing more of what's going on around here. And we did a couple of interviews with some of our VIP, very special, yes. important people, which will be aired on YouTube and will be aired on Brooklyn Community Access Television. So, Thank there's you. any message you'd like to say? Anything more? No, just. Keep plugging, keep studying, and just keep doing whatever you, if you're an actor, keep doing it. If you're a singer, keep going. Never give and up. If you're a producer I, and a host, just keep doing what you're doing. Yes. Like me. <laughs> thank you, Billy, thank for you. having this, this discussion, and thank you for being here with us. Thank you so much. It's only at Glory event that you could have all sorts of things. It's Christmas here already, and we have um, Christina Fontelli from Italy to tell us about a little of her song that she's singing for Christmas. And to give us a little idea about Italy being in America, um, Christina, welcome to Gloria's um, event, the Elite Professionals Networking and Thoughts and Teens in Focus. We welcome you to have you here to talk about Christmas. You make me feel like Christmas already, so um, I see here that you are a singer, and you will give us a little bit more idea of yourself, um, the songs that you sing, and why you choose to sing Christmas songs. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for having me on your show. And uh, the show, this particular performance, I don't know if your guests can see this, it's called Christmas in Italy. And uh, I started it eight years ago in New York to uh, preserve the great songs of Italy, which is my heritage. And this fun. year we're taking it out to San Diego and Los Angeles. Uh -huh. So it's a beautiful show. I hope you can make it. Yes, I will try to make it. It's Sunday, November the 27th. It's November 27th because I travel all over the country. Okay. Like New York is the, like the kickoff city. Oh, you know? okay. And so that's the day in New York, but then we go out to San Diego, and then, like I said... So where do we be held? I don't know if your guests can see this. It's called Christmas in Italy, and uh, I started it eight years ago in New York to uh -huh. preserve the great songs of Italy, which is my heritage. And this year we're taking it out to San Diego and Los Angeles. Uh -huh. So it's a beautiful show. I hope we can make it. Yes, I will try to make it. It's Sunday, November the 27th. It's November 27th at the Danny K. Playhouse at Hunter College, which is on East 68th Street between Park and Okay, and then you would come and, and enjoy the tradition of Christmas. Um, Christmas in Italy, you know, well, that got to be something very special for the Italians and, and Christmas time. Um, tell us something about Christmas in Italy. Well, I'll tell you something. I actually was born <laughs> Okay. Up, so I don't know so much about... I know the, the traditions here that my grandparents brought to mm -hmm. this country. And uh, where I come from, my background is Neapolitan. You know, the Bay of Naples? Okay. So it was a tradition to always eat seafood on Christmas Eve. Oh. You know, so we still follow that. We have a fish on Christmas Eve. And every section of Italy has its own tradition. You know? Okay. And uh, that this I particular think... show I, I did, I started as a love letter to my grandparents. Oh. To heritage, to preserve the great songs. But not only the songs. You know how people's music, your yes, music uh -huh. evokes a certain feeling, like right. families mm -hmm. and family and joyfulness and 
That is why I started this. Okay. And other generations feel that happiness that we felt growing up as Italian right. kids. Yeah, that's why I did it. And by the way, I, I have sung all over the world. Uh huh. I've sung Italian songs. I've been to the White House for President Clinton. I've been to the inauguration of George Bush. I sang there. I was just in Washington. I'm currently on PBS as the PBS host. Uh huh. Andrea Bocelli's concert. That was filmed in Central Park. I have a lot of things going on. So you'll give us a little song for us now? You sing a little bit song? to Christina um, songs from Italy preserving her traditions so you know, I know they'll be having lots of fun you need more come to the show thank you very much for being here and have a wonderful day well, you just heard Christina giving her rendition of um, from Italy and we have another guest of Colombia uh, from Colombia and she will be telling us about her promotion that she has, an event that she produces that, um, for the community. So, welcome once again, Networking Elite Professional um, Cocktail Hour. And you are with Tops and Teens in Focus. It's a children television program in Brooklyn. So, tell us something about yourself. You gotta keep it up. artists that they live out of the United States, they live in their countries, we bring the art and we bring it directly to the uh, bigger the audience here. So you only do um, promote for uh, artists from your country or from anywhere else? Could If people want to be, um, for you to promote for them, how could they get that? Oh, so if persons wanted to, um, for you to be the manager or the director, how can they make contact with you? Oh, you're opening the doors for them to come to the United States so they can. Just the art, okay. Uh -huh. But for people who are living here, showcase the artists. Okay. The culture, the art. Okay. So that was very good, you know. <laughs> Suppose now you have people in your from your country who are here and don't know about the art, how to get into the art. How would you advise them? You mean where can they contact us? Yes, where can they contact you? Our website is uh, www.artistofamerica.com. 
Mm -hmm. And any information that they want, they could contact us there and give us any information. Okay, that was very nice to know that um, the community can view you and others can view you and see how they can put out their art because it's very important that if you have your art and you can sing or whatever it is that you can do, you have the opportunity to express it through your company. Thank you very much for being with us and giving us that information. Thank you very much. From Tower with the Elite Professional Networking Group. And here with me is Mr. Cole Saar. Mr. Cole Saar is going to tell us about himself and his organization. Mr. Cole Saar, welcome to the Elite Networking Professional Cocktail Hour. Um, you will tell us something about yourself, your organization, and what your work is about in the community. Thank, thank you, Shelley. Let me introduce myself. My name is Cole Saar. It's K-O-S-A-R, Paul, but anyway, Pavel in Czech, because I came from the Czech Republic, from okay. Prague, actually. Okay. I was born with a family over there. Uh -huh. And now, let's say, very, 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 uh, just for a couple of years, I came to the United States to promote the Czech Republic as a Czech Yes, but so let me correct you a little bit, because our country, Czechoslovakia, has divided into... Uh, oh. to separate the country eight, actually eight years ago, but now I would like to convey that both of the country are the member of the European Union. Okay. Uh -huh. That's very good. Uh -huh. And I work for the Czech government, actually, from mm -hmm. the uh, Ministry of Regional Development mm -hmm. and promote Czechoslovakia, actually Czech Republic, sometimes mm -hmm. also the Slovaks, as a beautiful first-class travel destination. Mm -hmm. In other words, we say, come on and visit the Eastern European countries. That's an amazing place for a visit. And I actually recommend them that the, you, your stay will be really an experience you will never forget. Mm -hmm. So what's different side tourist side that they have that people would be interested of? Yeah, you know, that's really, uh, Czech Republic is a unique country, it just, uh, it's very small, it's not uh, like the United States, just uh, 79,000 square kilometers, mm -hmm. the north to southern, you don't need to, you don't need more than probably four hours oh, by car, that's, that's wow. really small country, mm -hmm. the population is about 10 million people, and the uh, capital of the Czech, Czech Republic, of history, city of culture. Very unique, very unique atmosphere. What is the culture about there? Uh, the culture about the country, that's really uh, everything. There is so many architectural style, style of living, because you know the first records go back to the 8th or 9th century. That's okay. actually a really very historical part of Europe. Mm -hmm. and. Mm -hmm. If I had an opportunity to talk to the really consider Czech Republic to be one of the most interesting and unique part of Europe. Your special dish over there. Oh, <laughs> that's a nice question because the people, they are always interested for good accommodation, for good lunching, for good food and beverage. If you get a good food and a beverage, they are probably satisfied as well. So, and the, and the favorite is... And the national favorite food is uh, roasted pork, Czech dumplings, and, and cabbage. Oh, <laughs> and what about the um, summertime? Do they have beaches, um, tourist sites with beaches and so forth? Uh, no, it's that's not that's not the case because we Czech Republic, we don't have a beach like that, like for example the United States, because we, do, we don't have an ocean. Oh, y'all are okay. So but if you want, you can really go to the region as well. Uh, there is so uh, many different, you can use many different activities like, uh, for example, hiking, biking, skiing, mm -hmm. uh, country cross skiing, paragliding, horse riding, actually, that, that's really a perfect place for golf. I inform you that there is more than 150 golf courses. Oh, a good okay. place for mice, meeting incentives. Mm -hmm. uh, there is lots of company, they come there for general assembly and things like that. Uh, you know, there we also have probably more than 40 spa, 
okay. and spa resorts. If you have uh -huh. a problem with your stomach or with your backbone, you, you can go there, go there <laughs> and relax. Also in the medical treatment. That's, that's well, um, Mr. Kolsar, you have told us so much about Czechoslovakia. Correct me if I'm if I'm wrong. Um, I think you said it's chili or, or something like that now. So you have told us so much about it now. I think I find it very interesting to go to the country to see what it's like and to know that especially those who want to be healed of the back pain and the stomach, they can go there and think. What would be your encouraging words to um, the community or tourists who would like to tour? Uh, the most important place or south let's say of, of course park mm -hmm. because that's the gate to the country yes, I mentioned uh, if the American come to, to the Czech Republic then they they very they mostly combine uh, to visit Czech Republic with other especially Eastern European countries and they go also to Vienna they go also to to Hungary to, to Budapest Bratislava they go they, they go also to Krakow, to Poland. Mm -hmm. And that's my suggestion because that's really unique place and I think that's uh, the, peop the people How like much it. Much of being on um, the elite networking, um, professional networking cocktail hour. And thank you for being with Tots and Teens program. I'm sure that our viewers will find it very... Um, make a trip to your country as you promote the tourism of that country. Okay. Thank you very much Thank for you. inviting me here. Thank you. Thank very you. Much. Have a great day. Thanks. Yes, yeah, so here we are still at the Elite Professional Networking Cocktail Hour and we're here with Rita and Joe. And Rita is an artist. And Joe Rita is Sorry. let me correct myself. Rita is ceramics and Joe is an artist. And they will be sharing their views and their ideas about their art artistic um, culture that they have and they will tell us what it's all about why they got into it and what is their dream to go from here rita and joe welcome to the elite networking professional cocktail hour and you're on with tots and teens in focus from brooklyn so your ideas your name your ideas your creation of becoming artists I make a workout of clay i uh I have three vases here. I use organic forms. Um, I'm a hand builder and instead of making work on the wheel. Uh, I just sort of piece it together. Okay. You know, sometimes you want to know why you should choose such a, a art that you have to be very messy with. Why did you... Oh, that's the, that's the fun of it all. That's the fun of it. Okay, so yeah, you just like... You start working in it, you become addicted very quickly. Okay, so it was this a vision of you or an art of you? Yeah. A vision to um, to do ceramics or... Yeah, once are I started, you just very quickly, I realized part of why I've been put on this earth. And let's talk with Joe. Joe is an artist. I'm sure that he will be able to yes. make of me what you think of being an art. What... Um, what was your motivation or your ideas, creation, dreams, vision that you got? I mean, how much beer I can get in me, uh -huh. and, and what pops into the head, and I all of a sudden you just want to draw it. Uh -huh. Like with this particular piece over here, yeah. I was walking down the street from the bar, and I thought, what would I do if I saw a whale pop through the earth between it? Okay, and so you just it. you just go with ideas or feelings or Whatever vision. Whatever pops yes. yes. Like if I see something funny in the street, like the other day I saw a lady with her dog and she had a bat, plastic bag on her hand mm -hmm. and there was a leash on the dog and then right next to her there was another lady with a leash on her kid and she's mm -hmm. holding a bag mm -hmm. and I, 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 was, I, was, I was floored by that so mm -hmm. I painted it and it's just hilarious it's like wow they're both ready to do whatever they do and they're going to mm -hmm. clean up after them with the bag ideas I'm to make the creation exactly well that was very nice what would be your advice to youths and how would you encourage other youths to be involved uh, most of the time just do what you want to do if you like it, everybody else will like it. Your information where they can make contact with you. Contact number uh, if you want to give out. Oh, it's Rita.Varian at Gmail. Okay, and Joe? Mine's is WrongSword, um, W-R-O-N-G-S-W-O-R-D at Yahoo.com. Where can they view your pieces? Oh, um, DeviantArt. Oh, where so, that is? The same spelling, W-O-R-D. Oh, okay. 
N G S uh, O uh, R D.